Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good, good evening, uh, bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis. Uh, good morning, good tag, good night. Uh, for those of you who are new to us, we are the TSTW24 uh, uh, traders. Uh, for all trade, we'll use the 5% money management rules and apply stop loss uh, in all trades. Uh, this video is for educational purposes only. It's neither a solicitation or an offer to buy or sell any financial instrument. It is primarily for the TSTW24 traders. The title of this video is a live day trading in London, part two, on the 7th of November 2013. All right, the time in London now is 1 minute past 2 p.m. In New York, 1 minute past 9 a.m. on the 7th of November 2013. This is a live day trading. A part two today all right so please make sure you watch part one first during the first part of the video i was trading during the asia session and i was explaining to traders what they need to pay attention to when they are day trading during the asia session because the asia session can be a little bit tricky all right i hope you have watched that video and have learned something from it during that time i was buying the yo and i was explaining to traders that one must close a day trade before london opens and I did close okay, that trade. Now, we see another opportunity here after a distorted candle, okay, on the hourly chart. Let's go to the hourly chart. I will not uh, go deeply into this one here because I've already explained it on YouTube, www.youtube.com, so it's forward slash George Trio, all right? And uh, if you check the video that we call ADP No Farm Trading by George Trio, and uh, you can uh, watch the video and also a video about the tall candle trading by George Rio. And I explain to trade this strategy, but in this video, I will move on very fast. When we see a tall candle like this on the hourly chart, important hourly chart, after a major economy news, we will highlight the high of the body of the candle, we'll discount the tail, okay, the shadow, okay, we'll focus on the body of the candle, highlight the high. The media line, okay, and the low of the tall candle. That's it. So you can see I have two candles here on the hourly chart. I will focus only on the tall candle. This one is not very long. We want a tall candle, a long candle like this. You see now? And I did not draw the line to the high itself. I was focusing on the body of the candle. So that's why I refer traders back to the video that we posted on our channel. So I bought the euro right here at 133 three, okay 133 three, okay 141314 one, three, three, one, that's where I put the green horizontal line all right let's extend this line a little bit okay and my stop loss is at 13280 uh, that's the red horizontal line here okay 13280 all right so I'm in this trade right now why am I here? buying the euro because of the distortion all right so you can see this was very long telling that the bull with the bear were very aggressive and the second bearish candle was not very long it's telling me that uh, the, the the bear okay are not willing to sell as much as they did in the first part of uh, this uh, move to the downside as you can see the price uh, is changing direction a little bit here okay so now it's working nicely for me my first target, okay, because I entered a trade below uh, the low of the body of the tail candle, so my first target should be the low of uh, the body of the tail candle, which is at uh, 133, a 6, 8, all right? So that's not too bad, all right? 133, 6, 8, all right? That's 54 people profit if you reach that level. If it goes above the orange line, which is the low of the body of the tall candle, and the final support, which is breakable, it test turn around, I will buy it again, and my target will be the media line of the body of the tall candle. I'll do exactly the same thing again, repeat the same strategy. If it goes above the peak one, and final support again, I'll buy it again, and uh, bring it to the turquoise line, which is the high of the body of the tall candle. Now, it doesn't mean that the price will definitely reach the orange line or the pink line or the turquoise line but if it's doing that we will take advantage of it as i'm in this trade now i must manage the trade also checking the clock 
in exactly 25 minutes new york will be open so this is the gap period so it's a bit tricky to trade during the gap period so all right because another group of traders will be entering the market all right so we need to be aware of that so what whenever you see a tall candle try to find out why we have the tall candle what has caused okay the distortion all right so the distortion was created by uh, a major economy news, this one here. At 12.45 uh, London time, that's 7.45 Eastern time, 47.45 AM Eastern time. You see the red envelope here? This is telling us a high impact news today. So if you were trading today and uh, you didn't know about this economy news, or you were wondering why we have the talk and all, this is the economy news minimum bid rate the forecast was 0.5 percent the actual figure was 0.25 percent that's half of the forecast if in this case for the minimum bid rate if you click on the envelope here all right we can read more about it at forex factory though i'm using a currency here uh, this strategy is valid uh, okay also for stocks and uh, for commodity for crude oil crude, uh, for silver and gold for indices all right just because i trade for it that's why i'm using the euro usd in this example all right so this economy new minimum bid rate all right interest rate on a main refinancing operation that provide the bulk of liquidity to the banking system you know the banking system banking system all right it's a uh, the finance so it's creating a bit of mess right now if the actual figure is superior strictly superior to the forecast it's good for currency on the other hand if the actual figure is strictly inferior to the forecast it's bad for the currency in this case the euro usd all right so you can read about it more if you want to know more all right it's there so this economy news has created the distortion. So I find out, and this is here. So that's what I say to traders. The economy news can change the dynamics of the market instantly. This morning, during the Asia session, the euro was bullish, technically speaking. And I was telling traders that they need to pay attention to the economy news. And there's one here, high impact news. Then we have also the ECB conference given by Mr. Draghi, the president of uh, the European Central Bank, so ECB stands for European Central Bank, ECB press conference, another very important news, high impact news, all right? And also we have here, and for the US dollar, a bullish news, actual figure superior to the forecast, unemployment claim equal to the forecast, the, the actual figure is equal to the forecast, so it's a neutral, and also the advanced GDP, price okay superior to the forecast so the dollar yen was going up big time now it's standing at 9934 we will challenge this currency pair at 9950 looking for opportunity to sell the dollar yen around 9950 doesn't mean go and sell but when you receive a sell signal around that zone well we will take advantage of it all right so we do not assume anything that's what i say to trade do not use this video as a trading signal this is very important because i know a lot of new traders may tend to do that that's why i'm giving this warning okay so resist the temptation to just uh, go and place a trade okay all right it's working nicely for us so this is now we know the reason why so we are expecting another economy news at uh, 10 30 a.m eastern time that's the 3 30 p.m london time all right that's a very important natural gas storage all right this can also change the economy though it's yellow like this saying to us to us it's not uh, it's a low impact uh, news this economy news i think a forest factory should put it into orange or red even this can change also the dynamics of the market when the actual figure is superior to the forecast it's bullish okay uh for the dollar but it's bearish for the euro and it's also bearish for the crude oil if we have more crude oil the price of this will apply will affect the crude oil the price may go down may go down not definitely so talking about economy news when we are analyzing the economy news it's all about probability so we want to know it's not that we want to trade the economy news is tough 
is served, but we want to know when and what sort of impact the economy new may have on the market. So we don't end up using the technical alone. This is what I've been saying all the time, all right? This is to get the attention of traders. So it's working nicely now, uh, this trade, okay? The price now, 13345. Beautiful, isn't it? We entered uh, 13314. So it's just taking advantage of this uh, setup very fast, but I'm also watching the clock because uh, uh, these are profit taking. The bear that were making money before a new market is about to open, they are careful, these are professional. They will take their profit, okay, so that uh, they don't end up giving back their profit. That's what they are doing. This exercise is a preparation for the, the opening bell in New York, right? So this is about the mind game of the uh, trading, all right? So we are set to go and we are already in the trade and uh, we are watching it carefully, all right? Okay, so I'm going to go back now to the three minute charts, okay? So what I'm going to do now, because uh, I have like uh, the price approaching my target zone, I'm going to secure some gains. I see approaching my first target level. Some traders also are doing exactly the same thing. I'm not alone in the market. So some may decide to take their profit. So I may decide to start, okay, securing some of my gain, all right? And uh, so that uh, they don't nick my profit, as they say in London, all right? Okay. All right. So this is what's going on here. So we know the reason why we have the tall candle, all right? And we are applying our strategy on the hourly charts, all right? So, so far, we grab quickly the more than 30 P, which is great. And uh, very often when the price is approaching the target zone, which is my orange line, uh, some traders that are very, very conservative uh, may decide to take their profit before the price reach the target. So we need to watch them carefully. In fact, what I will do now, I will go to the one minute chart to zoom into the price and uh, to see what activity is taking place. These are high frequency traders. They are selling and buying with the stochastic, stochastic overboard. They will force it down. But so they will force it up on a one minute chart on a 10 second time frame using a stochastic on a one minute chart. That's why sometimes you will wonder where is this candle coming from? They are coming from the 10 second and also on the one minute chart, our friend and high frequency traders are trading. There's nothing wrong with that. They are allowed to trade as they like to, okay? All right, so let's see how long we have been speaking now, talking about uh, live day trading in London, uh, part two, because uh, uh, the market uh, dynamics has changed by the economy news. That's why I'm recording this video, okay, the second part of this video, uh, to show trader what is happening here in London. Okay, the pressure is on. Let's see whether they're going to push it directly to the target. Okay, so one thing uh, i dislike is when the price is approaching the target and uh, it's slowing down i don't like that i like the price when it's approaching the target to go fast okay fast 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 hit it okay and uh, we wait again if it goes above the orange line and uh, retest it okay we will take profit because there is like a, a nearly 20 pip more okay to take out of this trend so that's why uh, i'm watching it now but if they start taking profit i may be forced to close my trade and take my profit. That's not too bad because at least I get 30 pips, all right? So I will come back again, all right? All right? It makes sense. It's also powerful. What I will do now to avoid that the video is too long, uh, I will uh, pause it, but in fact, I was thinking that they will hit the target right here in front of everyone. But it's taking a bit of time, but uh, in exactly, uh, 15 minutes, okay. Uh, New York is now, okay, it's hit 50, which is great. Uh, New York uh, uh, will be open. So these are profit taking. The professional uh, are closing their bearish trade, taking their profit now 56. Ladies and gentlemen, I will take my profit uh, at this point in time, all right? And uh, I'm happy about that. I've taken uh, nearly 40 pip out of this trade uh, using uh, this simple strategy. Uh, that's it. I'm out of that trade now. Okay. Now you may say to me, George, are you scared? No. It's uh, being defensive. All right. 
And uh, now you see it's coming near the target zone. My next strategy, very simple, following the market step by step without forcing it. I know where we are, I know what's happening. My next strategy is very simple. Allow the price to go above the orange line, orange line and orange horizontal line a little bit. And then uh, to pull back nicely, maybe you dip below it a little bit, sometimes you see that. And to find it, sometimes you see you dip below it, it's alright. It's good when you dip below it before going back above it and find support. And uh, I will look for another opportunity to buy. And my target will be the pink line. To avoid that the video is too long, the disagreement, I will move, uh, I will draw my vertical line right here. And uh, I will, uh, as always, the vertical line, I call it into turquoise, not trading really data falling, I know what I'm doing all the time now. All right. So here, that's where I'm posing the video now. And the time in London is uh, 16 minutes past 2 p.m. on the 7th of November 2013 in New York. As you can see here, 60 minutes past now. I hope you can see your chart because uh, the clock is in the corner here. All right. So we we'll, we have been talking now nearly 60 minutes, and the price near the target zone. I'm happy about that. I took it, which is great. We may see a bit of pullback. Sometimes, it, because some traders know that they will take a bit of profit. We may end up, uh, if you want to know more, we may end up having something like this if they don't allow it, because uh, a new market is about to open. New Yorker would like to buy cheap, so they may like to force it back down a little bit, okay, to display a kind of a double bottom pattern, hopefully, okay, this is my expectation, all right, doesn't mean that it will definitely do that, but if they bring it back to my, uh, the point where I bought it, okay, I will be watching again to reload it for the second time, but if it goes above the, two, uh, the orange line, as I said to you, I will follow uh, my strategy, as always, when we have a trading plan, the trading plan is, uh, okay, uh, our forecast or our expectation is our trading plans, but we will not try to force it onto the market, okay? We will uh, be very patient, okay, gently, gently, and we will take advantage of it. Ladies and gentlemen, pausing the video uh, at this point in time, and uh, I'm not stopping the video, but uh, just pausing it, and uh, we will come back to it, okay, uh, very shortly. Okay, so speak to you okay soon pausing the video okay traders uh, okay traders uh, New York is now open because uh, the time now is uh, uh, 33 minutes past 2 p.m. in London uh, that's 33 minutes past 9 a.m. in New York and uh, as you can see the price slowly back we pause the video here you see where I put uh, the vertical the vertical uh, turquoise line and uh, I came out right here and now you can see the price uh, went to touch uh, the target uh, line all right okay so it may continue the move to the upside before retesting this level we will see um, or it may come back down okay allowing the uh, New York traders also to buy at the best place to pull back and to display a double bottom pattern at my entry point right here okay in fact I feel like uh, selling it again but uh, I will wait patiently and uh, or I will see what the problem will do and uh, we will take advantage of it okay all right so now one stock that we are watching also uh, one second please is a Cisco stock I want to look at Cisco see how the economy news that came out earlier is affecting the New York market whether the, the stock dropped down in fact I posted a video on YouTube uh, recently live uh, swing trading stocks and uh, I, uh, we were showing trainer how to enter a swing train and we were looking at Cisco okay Cisco is uh, in my view is very bullish all right but we need to use uh, the TSCWS as you your age to navigate this uh, messy market okay so in fact today gap up because some uh, good news uh, regarding the dollar so gap up from uh, two three to nine well it may pull back blah 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 today and then uh, but for the for the medium term to long term view 
uh, in my view, okay, that's my personal view, this stock is bullish, all right? But we will use our tool to participate in the market. The next stock that also that we are watching, all right, is Alcoa, which I posted a video also on YouTube. Okay, proprietary investment tips, if my recollection is correct, and uh, there is a profit taking. It's not too bad because it went near, okay, uh, it went up uh, for a while. Okay, so <laughs> some uh, market participants are taking profit, but again, for the medium term uh, to um, the long term, right? Okay, traders should. Okay, look for opportunity to buy using their tool if there is opportunity to buy. So it went up a bit, okay. Now there is a bit of profit again. It's normal. Nothing to worry about, okay. The next one is uh, Amart. Okay, Amart uh, went up fast, uh, up to the zone of uh, $18. Dollar. Nice move, but then uh, there is a bit of uh, blah blah blah, and uh, some traders are challenging it and selling it now. We will see. Okay, so this was happening here. All right, let's go back again to the Euro USD. I want to show you before I show you the Euro USD, I want to show you the dollar yen which has been bullish today, you remember, we were telling today that this uh, currency pair has a high chance slowly but gradually, no one believed us when we were saying things like this, to come to 9950 today, it came to the level of 9941, 10 people, I think some people are selling too early now, so, it's not too bad. So, this is the level we are watching and looking for opportunity to sell at least until they already sold it here. There's some profit taking taking place now. I would prefer it uh, to go above it a little bit. Okay, and to confirm the bearish pressure by coming back down. Something like that. We will see. Let's go back now and look at the Euro USD, my favorite currency pair. Now that New York is open, uh, if you are trading for us, you must pay attention to the, okay, the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones, especially the Dow Jones. I also explained to you that uh, at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time, that's at 3.30 a.m., 3.30 p.m. London Time, all right, In, uh, within an hour, we will expect another economy news, natural gas storage, which can change the dynamics of the market. So the market is uh, professional, very careful. They are aware of that economy news. So they are very, very careful. So even if some traders are buying now, they will be very careful because they know that another economy news. All right? So that's why I'm saying it will be better for you to pull back again to where I bought it. And we will see again. And if uh, the news uh, come out, we will see what we will do. Okay? So... Right now, you just need to be very patient and prudent waiting for that economy news. And then uh, we will look for another opportunity, okay, and to buy the euro also at the best place. Okay, going now to the two-minute chart to see what's going on now. We are above uh, the orange line, as I explained to you. So... We will see. If they take it from here and start running away with it, well, that is the pink one here. We'll see whether they're going to run away. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright? So this is what's going on here. Not much I can see now, so going to uh, place my vertical line there again. At the time in London, it's uh, 14.40 and 9.40 in New York. And I'm posing a video again for the second time. And uh, we will come back to it uh, to show you what's happening here. Posing the video. 
Okay, traders, uh, what's happening here? We can see that uh, we paused the video here before, but you can see that the point of prime, okay, reaches uh, the target level, which is the orange horizontal line. We try. Let's let's analyze the price now. You can see that uh, some trader took profit here, and the price went down a little bit. But then, uh, as he went back above it, okay. Some trader tried to sell it again, but then the price went up again, up, which means there are some people buying along this orange line. Now we can see that the price now went below the orange line again, and uh, they push it back up above the orange line. Okay, it's telling me that uh, there are some people buying uh, along this uh, orange line. Uh, so, just waiting, uh, thinking to, to buy it now, alright, but we don't want to uh, play it anyhow, but you can see that the price went above it, but did not go away too far, we prefer it uh, to go up a little bit away from the orange line, okay, and then before coming uh, to retest it, but it didn't go far away from uh, uh, the orange line that's why uh, I'm a bit uh, hesitant to enter this trade now but uh, we keep eyes on it to analyze what is happening now uh, along this uh, target zone which is the orange horizontal line because uh, I want to buy the euro again so that's what I'm waiting for uh, another Okay, low risk entry point. Analyzing the price self, the number one indicator. Okay. If you go try to go into the mind of uh, traders, because uh, have to understand that the bear were controlling the market, the bearish traders were the dominant force to them, and uh, they saw the yo after the economy, so the price went down all the way here. Okay, so this uh, green candle here, this is a profit taking, uh, waiting for New York to open. Now New York is open, all right. So some traders are still in their bearish trade. These are swing traders. But if they see that the price, uh, because uh, if they see that uh, the price continue to go up, okay, they may decide to take their profit, and we may see the we may see the price, okay, bouncing up a bit uh, near the orange line here. And that's why I'm watching. So it's more about the mind game that I'm doing here now. Try to go into the mind of other traders uh, to understand what they are trying to do. Okay. Let's go back again to my 3 minute chart. The price still below the orange line now. So we need to be very patient, okay? Another currency pair that is moving in the same direction like the Euro USD. Okay, by the way, by by the way, though we are using currency pair, the strategy is valid for stock and also for commodity. Another stock, uh, currency pair that is moving in the same direction like the Euro USD is the pound dollar currency pair. So sometimes you may use uh, another currency pair that is correlated to another one and to, to analyze the price, to compare them. Sometimes you may see a discrepancy or divergence between a, a positive a correlated currency pair, but uh, okay, let's go to the hourly chart to check what's happening with uh, uh, the pound dollar currency pair. The euro is now at uh, one three three five six, so it's well below uh, the well below the. The orange line. Okay, so 
We will see. All right? We will see. So the reason why I brought now the is the pound dollar currency pair on the hourly chart. You can see that it went down so, but there was a, a retracement quickly to cancel it before it. It's that you see this candle here, the price went down to this level and quickly rally up to cancel uh, the distortion before okay they push it back down again, probably because the euro was going down more, so it was a a bit of ups and down for the pound dollar currency pair. Okay. All right. Let's go now to the uh, three minute chart. I'm looking at the pound dollar currency pair. Try to compare the pound dollar currency pair with uh, okay the euro USD. All right. So if I draw a trend line on this uh, three minute chart for the uh, pound dollar currency pair, if the euro is going down, the pound will follow the euro most of the time. That's what we see, okay? Very often. Except sometimes you see some economy news that are uh, bearish for the pound. And the power will go down, and the euro will go up. So, but very often, uh, it may have to come down near the trend line here on this uh, uh, three minute chart. Okay, let's go back again to the euro USD. We want to buy the euro again, so we are just uh, very patient now. Try to see what the market is offering. Probably they're going to display double bottom. Uh, To watch this low here at the one three three five five, the low here one three three five five. All right, that's where the price now one three three five five. We need to watch that level carefully now, and uh, otherwise they will bring it back here. Okay. Zoom into the price again. I'm going to the one minute chart. Okay. It'll be better for the price to go back above the orange line, and then we may look for opportunity to buy there. But uh, right now, the level of 13355, we need to watch that level, okay? So you see now, so we are day trading this uh, the kind of exercise we are doing, all right. As you can see, all right, I'm making a decision and the trader will always make the decision, all right. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to put uh, just uh, a line like this to highlight 13355 to give myself um, a warning here. Yellow, can you see yellow on your chart? Put it to quads there. Okay. You can see that though I have uh, my stochastic below here, I'm paying attention more to the price. Okay, that's what we want today to do. Do not spend most of your time looking at the indicator itself alone. Okay. Alright, so this is it really. What I will do now, because uh, to avoid that the video is too long, 34 minutes we have been speaking now, so 34 minutes, okay, can you see? Okay, so the time in New York now, this is the time when professionals will place their train at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So the market will open at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. They wait 30 minutes, the crowd will come in, 
do whatever they want to do and the professional will come in at 10 a.m. Eastern time. That's a 3 a.m. London time. Very often, traders can find excellent uh, day trading opportunity at 10 a.m. Eastern time, 3 p.m. London time. See, so that's why uh, I, I, I'm, stay, I'm staying here and uh, watching uh, what they are trying to do here. And so I may take advantage of it, okay? Uh, by the way, the weather in London is not too bad, but uh, it's a bit, uh, it's not too bright, it's not too dark, so, well, we can't complain. So it went back above uh, the 1355, the level that I highlight here, so you don't want to be very bearish, all right, because it's uh, also a very important level, okay? What I will do now, I will take what I call a punt. Okay, I will buy the euro now at uh, 13357. And uh, what I will do, I'll place my stop loss uh, 7. I'll put it uh, below uh, 13348, uh, somewhere here. Uh, 10 pip, okay. That's it. I mean again, all right. So it's a tiny one, so if they take me out, I'm not going to cry about it, okay? And I leave the all the, the, the turquoise line below because this is uh, the level that we need to watch. If it goes back below 135.5, it's telling me that the music is changing again, so I need to watch it. So place my stop loss at uh, uh, 133.48. Put in red. My warning line is the turquoise line here. So, one, three, three, four, eight. A little bit up. Somewhere there. One, three, three, four, eight. That's it. One, three, three, four, eight. That's the red horizontal line. Uh, here. One, two, three, five, eight, yes, somewhere here. Okay, it's not bad. S somewhere here. Okay. The chiquas line is a one three three five five. That's my warning line. The D below that uh, chiquas line. I may have to swiftly close that trail, alright? But uh, we'll see. But I'm not risking too much, so we'll see. So we let it run a little bit more and I will see what's going to happen here. Okay, we are in the one minute chart now because I'm zooming to the price to analyze what is taking place right now. Uh, that's why I come to the one minute chart. If they go back up above the orange lines, okay, that would be better for us, give us more room to breathe, so to speak, all right, to breathe in, to breathe out, to breathe in, all right, give us more room to breathe in, okay, you see now, the pressure is on, isn't it, that's what you have to do, you want to be a day trader, all right, you see, this what's happening. So in the past, okay, I tend to speak to the chat a lot, say, come on, come on, but I don't do that anymore because uh, I'm, I want to flow with the price, self. I don't want to fight it, come on, come on, oh, come on, go on, no, 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 if you are doing that, it means that uh, you are under pressure, or you enter the trade at the wrong place, all right, so, <laughs> okay, 
Don't talk to the child. The child will not listen to you. Listen to the child instead. Okay, the child will speak to you. He's speaking to us now. That's why we are looking at it, analyzing it from every angle, trying to go into the mind of other traders, uh, to try to understand what they are trying to do. At the time of the day, checking the clock, all right, so we don't fight the market, okay? We don't want to fight the market. Tired of fighting, okay? <laughs> So some traders are, are challenging again at the orange line. These are the bear that push it now. So they don't want it to go back above the orange line because they know that if it goes back above the orange line, they are losing. So they will try to defend, so to speak, their positions. But uh, we will see. Okay, so how long we have been talking now? 40 minutes. Can you believe it? Time is going, isn't it? All right, let it run, let it run, let it run. It's very important, this video. Especially for day traders. To see how it's done. What you need to pay attention to. What you need to look for. How you should manage the trade, all right? How you will handle the pressure. All right? That's it. That's what we are doing here. Can you believe how this candle went up a little bit and just stop on the orange line? <laughs> See? Stop on the dot on the orange line. This one here. Okay. I'm just going to pause the video a little bit and I, I, I will move my... Uh, my uh, my vertical line, or if you want, if you want, let's go to the three minute chart and let me move it. And uh, I want to check something quickly, and uh, I'll be back soon, okay? So let's move it here where we are. So pay attention to everything carefully here. All right? So I'm going just going to pause it very fast, and I'll be back very shortly, okay? I want to check something very fast, and I'll be back shortly, okay? Pause the video. Okay, I'm back again, I'm back again. So, still waiting for it to go across, uh, <laughs> all right, the orange line. So, checking the clock, ladies and gentlemen. It's now on 15 minutes past 3 p.m. in London. Uh, that's 15 minutes past 10 a.m. in New York. Uh, in exactly 15 minutes time, we'll have uh, what we call okay natural gas storage this is another major economy news that can change the dynamics of the market so professional aware of it so some of the bear that uh, bearish traders that were selling the bio may decide to take their profit now or whatever in case uh, they, that news went against them or they may secure their gain all right some traders that are buying also if they are risking too much people, they may decide to secure it again if they have a little bit of profit in this one. Or they may leave it as it is if they are taking a very tiny risk like I'm doing here. They may leave it on, all right, and not worry too much about it. All right, so this is it. So I will be going to Forest Factory, okay, very shortly. And we will follow that economy news. And we will see how the, this uh, that news can change uh, the dynamics uh, of the market or not. Uh, we will find out, okay? So right now, I think it's uh, reasonable to pause the video now. As uh, we will come back to it now uh, with, uh, okay, the natural gas storage uh, news. So I'm pausing the video. I'll place again my uh, vertical line where we are pausing the video. And uh, the price managed to go above uh, one the, the orange line a little bit, but this candle is not yet closed. We are on a three minute chart. What I will do, I'll wait for this candle to close first, and then I'll pause the video, okay? As soon as this candle is closed, I'll pause the video, and I will come back to it uh, to uh, monitor, okay? Uh, the economy news, all right? 
if you like this video like it all right if you don't like it dislike it all right if you truly like it share it okay on facebook on twitter all right on tumbles all right share it on the web if you want to that's it this candle is now closed and you can is open we will pause the video now and uh, in fact i'll move uh, my vertical line here and i will come back to it shortly to avoid that the video is too long 45 minutes speaking now pausing the video all right i will come back to it shortly speak to you soon okay traders let's go back to the drawing board all right uh, the news do now or then the economy news that we are uh, waiting for uh, let's uh, refresh my screen first um, okay here it is right here right now click on it okay so the forecast is 40 billion the previous figure 38 billion so if uh, the actual figure is inferior to the forecast it should be out no, normally if the actual figure is inferior to the forecast it's bullish for the euro and for the crude oil Right, but if the actual figure is higher than the forecast, it's bearish for the euro and also for crude oil. Okay, 35 billion is below. This is bullish for the euro. 35 billion, so we have less, okay, natural gas than forecast. So, based on the law of uh, demand and supply, we have less. The price should improve, all right? If you have more, the price should go down a little bit, all right? So here we are, 35 billion, 35 billion, okay? Below the 40 billion, also below the previous figure. So this is good for the crude oil. It also, it's also good for the Euro USD. This economy news, this is what we were expecting, okay? From there, from this point onward, we can breathe in and breathe out okay, because we know that some of the major economy news are out of the way. Also in the night, do not forget the Asia session as I posted in the first video, the Asia session. Be aware of 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. That's midnight 30 London time. Okay. The Royal Bank of Australia monetary policy statement. Very important. High impact news. And also we have here trade balance China tentative and the consumer credit at 3 p.m. and uh, this one here for the euro at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. are uh, very soon uh, Mr. Draghi will speak again right here you see there was a conference ECB conference and Mr. Draghi will speak again at 2 p.m. that's 7 okay p.m. in London all right 2 p.m. in New York 7 p.m. so we are talking about uh, three and a half hour in exactly three and a half hour uh, we have another high impact news. ECB President Draghi is speaking. All right, natural gas, that's what we have now. So, going back again to the drawing board, so to speak, uh, as you can see, my uh, trade that I took that was uh, a bit of points or okay, compassionate trade in relation to the euro It's a little bit sus uh, supported by uh, this economy news. All right, so. We will see all right we will see so now it's working nicely okay it came back to my entry point which is the gray line here but my stop loss is the red line here okay at 13348 the price is now above the orange line and uh, hopefully hopefully all right and they will bring it okay that's what i'm talking we are talking about keeping eyes on the price self analyzing the price so if the bullish momentum continues without any disruption all right or without any manipulation or or without uh, any okay distortion uh, the next target will be the pink line here step by step if it reaches the pink line or it's approaching the pink line in fact uh, because uh, you know i enter the trade at uh, 13358 if it reaches near the 13380 i will start securing my gain all right and i will see okay this was happening here all right so this is it about uh, live day trading london part two um, i will not uh, continue recording this 
So I'll leave it as it is now, all right? So I hope you have learned something from this video also. And I will put it into use, okay, to, to make excellent decisions. If you are a new trader or you are experienced trader but you are having difficulties with day trading, respect the opening bell, adhere to the 5% money management rules for every trade, look for a reason why you are buying or selling. This is about the setup. Do not trade on a single time frame. Pay attention to the economy news, combine the technical with the fundamental. If you are TSTW24 trader, if you have any question, do not hesitate okay, to contact us. If you like this video, okay, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. If you have any comment, okay, put a comment below and uh, okay, we will get back to you. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and uh, be uh, very happy. We are the TSTW24 uh, uh, traders. So apologies to traders, the video has been a bit long, but 50 minutes so far. Thank you for watching, and we will speak to you very shortly.